So today we are back with the rebuilds, lockouts over, baseball's back, and now look at the Giants making the first big splash post lockout, signing Carlos Rodon to a two year deal. 44 mil, there's an opt out after the first year. I think it's a win win for both sides. I think this is a good pickup for the Giants. And if you look at how much money the Giants have committed, in the starting rotation it's not a lot of money i mean you still have logan webb you still got descalfani wood carlos rodan now i think it's a big move i think this is a, it's a really good move for them and then obviously offensively you know they've got those those pieces that have worked the under the radar kind of signings or trades and it seems like this team's back on track obviously the surprise team last year let's see what they can do coming off of that that really good season last season so i hope you guys enjoy the rebuild i hope you guys are excited to see more rebuilds as the free agency starts to heat up if you enjoy the video hit that like button down below if you're new here consider hitting subscribe and of course in the comment section this video is going out saturday morning ish early afternoon so there might be another free agency signing i know kershaw is signed at this point and there's been a couple other like smaller signings but predict the next big move what do you think is going to happen let me know what you guys are thinking are you happy that baseball's back drop a comment let's get into today's video so obviously we're gonna have designated hitter on because that's the new rule with the cba agreement and then of course the extra inning rule is gone so there we go we're gonna control everything but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go straight to the regular season. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to turn the trade slider all the way down. Leave it there. I'm not going to mat. I'm not going to worry about any of the draft picks for this rebuild, mostly because we're only going to be doing a season or maybe, maybe two seasons at most. I really just want to focus on this next couple of years, especially with MLB 22 just being a couple weeks away. We'll start doing longer term rebuilds for that. I think for this one, let's just do a short, sweet rebuild. Let's try to win as quick as possible. Let's build a fun team. Let's just have some fun with it. So let's get through the season. I'm not going to make any trades. I'm not going to worry about the draft. Let's just get through it. I'll see you guys at the off season. All right. So the Angels swept the Braves. Okay, sure. I guess. Yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, let's get into the off season. What I'm going to do here is once we get to the exclusive negotiations, I'm going to take it as if I'm in charge of the Giants. So I might bring back a player that isn't currently on the Giants right now. I'm not going to bring back Chris Bryant just because that's a player that I just see him. It, it seems to be going somewhere else. Seattle, some, some, the Mets. I, I don't know. I don't know where yet, but it seems like he's going anywhere else besides san francisco san francisco could definitely come back and pick him up for sure i think free agency is going to be a little hectic i think some teams are going to end up signing players that you normally wouldn't expect i think there could be a couple curveballs thrown out there i think some under the radar signings or some under the radar teams could come in and you know be like a surprise team to sign a player so we'll have to wait and see what happens but exclusive negotiations i know brandon belt was brought back we're going to bring him back for at least a year I think he signed a qualifying offer. So what we'll do is we'll make it just under 15 mil here. Alex Wood was brought back on. I think he actually initially signed a two-year deal. And it's a lot cheaper than what I'm seeing here. But we'll, we'll just offer him another one-year deal. Wilmer Flores has another season with the Giants. I think it's around 8 mil. No, I think it's like 5 mil or something like that. So we'll bring him back. We'll bring back uh, Leone as well. Jeez. Contracts are bad for relievers. And then the rest can go. So yeah, you guys can kind of see this is what we're working with. And let's get into the uh, the good stuff. The, the actual offseason where we want to build this team. So let me get through selecting players to the 40, man. Let's get through the arbitration, the contracts, and then I'll show you who I'm interested in bringing into the team. All right, so when we look at the team, I definitely think we're in need of a starting pitcher. I think that's, that's a big thing. I think some, maybe a bullpen arm or two. I think that's a that's a big one as well. And then looking at the lineup, I, I, I feel like we need a, just a little bit more like oomph, you know, like we've got probably something like this. So we need like potentially a third baseman because like Wilmer Flores is great and all, but like he really only hits what lefties. Well, I guess he hits righties OK as well as lefties. I don't know, man. I feel like he's more of a guy that can come off the bench and help us out. But then we've got Longoria who only hits lefties well. So, how did Listella do? Not amazing, but not terribly. You got Crawford. So, I guess realistically, like, a left fielder. Like, a really good left fielder. And what is this? First base? Because Brandon Belt didn't sign the contract. But Brandon Belt's going to come back. I offered him a little bit more money. And so, an outfielder, right? And the thing is, like, 
I don't think Cassianos would sign with the Giants. I just don't think that's something even the Giants would go out and do. You gotta think Cassianos really isn't known for his fielding. Right field, San Francisco, probably not the easiest to to <laughs> to play at. So especially with like right center being so deep, you've got the 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 brick wall out there. It's it's probably a pretty difficult time. So what do we go after? Do we do we go after Castellanos? Just change it up a little bit, get something that I don't think I've I don't think a Castellanos would sign with the Giants, but maybe we move him to left and he can play left field for us, or we can move Yastrzemski to left. Um, infield wise, I mean options are pretty slim. A Matt Duffy just seems like I, I I know I make I make the joke about him being like the greatest bench bat ever, but realistically, like he would be. A, like a Giants pickup, a guy who just plays, just like gets on base, you know, doesn't, he's not going to hit crazy amount of home runs. He's going to get on base for you. He's going to give you good at bats. He's versatile, especially in the infield. And I feel like that, that's, that's the type of guy I feel like the Giants would go after. So let's, uh, let's give him a, let's give him a deal. I'll, I'll, I'll give him six mil. I feel like he could definitely help us out. Just give us a little bit more depth. And now, where do we go from here? The outfield. The outfield is a spot. And I, like Chris Bryant's kind of the one that like makes the most sense. But I'm going to change it up. I'm going to go Nick Castellanos. I'm going to give him a, like a three-year deal. We'll go two-year deal. We'll bump it up a little bit more. We'll go like right here. Definitely not something I think the Giants would do. I definitely think they'd go after somebody else. I don't know. Maybe like a jock? I... That was a little bit of a strip, but maybe someone like Eddie Rosario, someone like a little bit under the radar that you kind of go like, okay, that's an okay signing, but it'll get the job done, that kind of thing. And then realistically, I don't really like anybody else. Um, I don't really like any of these bullpen options. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to see what other names become available throughout free agency. And as we get there, we'll see who signs. Dickerson was claimed by Colorado. Chadwick Trump was claimed by Colorado as well. And we get Castellanos, Chris Bryant goes to the Athletics, Trevor Story goes to the Braves, what a surprise. And the 40 man is done. Does anybody, ooh, Jake Diekman, how did he do? Not great, but uh, that could be a good signing for us. I think it's worth the risk. One year, let's go like four and a half, definitely goes right into the bullpen. Could he be good? Yes. Could he be absolutely terrible? Yeah, most likely actually, to be honest, he's probably gonna be garbage but let's let's give it a shot let's give it a shot see what happens i would like to see if any of these guys would be good i don't think they're going to be though and looking at the bullpen you're probably thinking why don't i sign reyes maranta i'm pretty sure he's playing in mexico right now like i'm pretty sure that's what's going on with maranta i'm like 99 percent sure he signed with the mexican team and i'm pretty sure he's playing there for the season amir garrett's not signed if he doesn't get signed i'll pick him up but for right now i'm gonna leave it we have plenty of catchers plenty of first baseman and so any other names here that i could be like ooh, that'd be a really good pickup for us and it doesn't really look like it right now there definitely could be some other names that pop up later on maybe like nelson cruz but let's 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 hold off let's see what happens as we get closer to the other portion of free agency and now this is where we could find some good names. So now let's let's see what we got here. Anybody? Zach Davies, Alec Mills, meh, Caleb Smith, no. Nobody that like Connor Menez, I know he signed with the Cubs in real life. Eshelman, no, thank you. I think that's it. Ty Madden, that's a prospect. And you're gonna be like, well, why don't you just sign the prospect? He's there, he's could be signed. It's just like it's just one of those things where like I know he's technically with the team in real life so like i just don't like really going crazy with some of the prospects that get released i just feel like it's just it's kind of cheesy it's kind of cheesy it's kind of like meh whatever you know like it's just one of those things where it, i just feel like it's kind of cheating the system and ho and hopefully like mlb the show can kind of fix that you know that, that'd be def like tyler soderstrom should be with the athletics right like there's no reason why he should be in free agency whatsoever so there's that um I honestly would rather have Rowdy Telez over Darren Ruff because Darren Ruff's going to be like a 60 overall by the end of the season. What about Vogelbach? He didn't play at all. That's just a pure power bat. 
Telez hits lefties fairly well. So it's like a reverse split matchup. Let's uh let's just pick him up. We'll see what happens. We'll do like a little two-year two-year deal there. Or did I do two-year or one-year deal? One-year deal, two mil. Um Rojas. Mm. No. <laughs> uh who else do we have here? Anybody else that like could could be helpful? Could be helpful at all. Willie Calhoun. But it doesn't. Ooh, who's this B down here? Cespedes, no thank you. Jack Peterson's there. Heath Ortega. And it doesn't really look like there's really any names that I'd want to pick up. Plus, I'm also worried that if I do pick up somebody, that the CPU is going to take them in the Rule 5 draft. So let's just go to the Rule 5 draft and see what happens. Let's see what's available. I would like a reliever. That's really what I'm kind of hoping for. And let's see here. Someone that's a little bit different than the norm player that I normally take, you know? So doesn't really look like there is anybody. Oh, there's just too low stats. Um, See, like Corey Ray's here. I probably would have taken Corey Ray in free agency. He would have got picked up by another team. But I think, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like maybe we just make a couple trades during spring training, get this team set, get this team looking right, and we should be good to go. I think I think that's what we do. Because, like, these are these are okay signings, but I don't really, I don't really like any of them. So, let's back out. I think that's, I think that's it. Like, it's a super boring window, but like realistically, there just weren't that many good, you know, pitchers available or players available, really. So let's let's give him a little bit of a contract, good depth to have just in case we need it. And I think that's it. I think realistically, that is gonna that's gonna do it. I mean, there really isn't anybody else that I'm like, dang, that would be a really good signing for us. I think we should pick him up. Honestly, Tommy Fam is giving me like Giants vibes. I could use the outfielder too. I could. Like we do have Slater. But I oh do I do I get Tommy Fam? He's going down quite a bit. I he can't be that expensive, right? <laughs> no thank you. No chance that's gonna happen. Okay. Let's let's leave it there. Um, if I sign anybody else, I will show you. But for right now, I think I think that's it. I, I just I feel like that's that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't really like anybody else. So let's leave it there. I'll see you guys in spring training. All right. So I didn't sign anybody else. Uh, we're currently ranked sixth. I think it's gonna adjust once the season starts. But I'm looking at the team. I kind of want a new center fielder. Like Steven Duggar was really good last year. I just don't know how much more he's gonna improve. I guess we could also use a first baseman. Hmm. Like, who are we going to lose? Potentially Crawford. Potentially Belt. Uh, is Jastrzemski the guy to lead us forward? Wasn't fantastic last year. So maybe an outfielder. Maybe another outfielder. That, that, that could be something that we need to do. Do I just leave it for now? And just hope that we can... Like, kind of just coast for the season and see what happens? I don't know if that's worth it. Ooh, I really don't. And you take a look at the pitching. I think the pitching's pretty good. I think we could use a starter. But at the same time, I think we could uh, be okay. I know we have Alex Cobb as well. I think he was a signing that happened in the offseason. But he's like a 60-something overall. So I'm not even going to use him. But I feel, I feel like the offense definitely needs something. I just don't know what. So I think I might leave it. Let's see how the season progresses. If we need something at the block or the trade deadline, I should say. Not the block. But at the trade deadline, let's check the block. Let's see what's available. And then we'll go from there. Because right now, I just don't know. I just don't know what to what to do. And, like, if Steven Duggar is going to put up these kind of numbers, I just don't want to change. Like, he had a good season. And if he's going to give me that, I don't want to trade him. Listella, ooh. What about a second baseman? Like, Listella's good. But he's not going to be good for the future, right? And who do we have at second base that could, like, come in no one really so maybe maybe we just get rid of la stella and like we just get like a an everyday guy that can play second base how's edmund not great let me let me see what second baseman i can find because there's definitely got to be someone out there that we could pick up it's gonna do the business jonathan india really excites me i kind of like the jonathan india pickup maybe a jazz chisel 
it's not that high rated though so okay let me let me do a little perusing a little window shopping maybe jorge polanco someone that i feel like that's a little bit different yeah let me let me let me see let me see what i can find all right, so apparently Tyro Estrada is going to get me Jorge Polanco straight up. I'm going to take it. Jorge Polanco's contract is super cheap. And also, he's kind of versatile. So I'm going to put him in to the team. I just don't know where. Maybe second base. See how he does. Does hit righties fairly well. Maybe just keep him out versus lefties. And then maybe put like Matt Duffy up there. And then like, yeah, he kind of struggles versus lefties. So maybe we just keep the team as is. And hope that it does well and again if we need to we make a couple changes at the deadline and we're good to go so um all notifications are gone there we go let's let's get into the season let's see where we're ranked we are ranked 16th so kind of middle of the pack but i still feel like this team's a lot better than 16th so let's get into it so the deadline yastrzemski and lamont wade jr are really struggling i want to add a little bit more oomph to the lineup michael conforto a guy who could Maybe he's not with the Giants in real life. He's still a free agent currently. Rumor is he's actually asking for quite a bit of money, which doesn't make sense. I know he's he's actually been fairly consistent for the majority of his career. Last year was probably the worst year of his career, but we're going to pick him up. We're going to put him in right field for us. We're going to trade Luis Basabe, which means we're going to have to change up the, the team a little bit. So what I'm thinking here is let's go with... Honestly, I might send Lamont Wade Jr. down. He's like really struggling. Or let's see here. Darren Ruff. He's not having a bad season, but he's tanking. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send him down. And then we're going to go with Conforto as the right fielder. Yastrzemski's just going to come off the bench. And I think that's 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 that. <laughs> I, I just, you know, he's, he's really struggling. Like really, really struggling. So... I don't really want to have them in the team if they're they're struggling so like yeah that's it pitching is going fairly well i like what everything's like how the whole season's going like i actually feel like we've we've got some pretty decent pickups I'm, I'm really liking it so yeah two games out in the division i would assume that means that that's the first place that, yeah first place in the wild card that's great so just that one trade of conforto the bullpen is doing great uh we could use maybe like a, a four or five starter but at the same time i'm not too stressed about it and budget wise i haven't even looked at the budget what do we have 17 mil available now and a couple contracts are leaving this year so we should have some money to play with next year as well so i'm liking where we're at i'm liking where we're at let's get through the season let's see where we finish all right so season's over we won the division taking on the brewers so that's that's a good start right like first season we're already we're doing pretty well no awards or league leaders um standings wise we we finished on top of the division two games above the dodgers which is a big win we actually dropped to 18th era doesn't look great and then that's mostly on the the pitchers but we'll, we'll have to take a look league leaders you've got soto duffy's up there at the top conforto's up there at the top castellanos you can see is there towards the top as well and then what other castellanos for hits he's kind of towards the top uh did soto did I just see Soto get 200 hits? Almost. Same thing with Jordan. Doubles, nobody. Let's see. Triples, nobody. Home runs, nobody, which is tough. But um, RBI's Castellanos, which is cool to see. But all right, let's, let's go take a look because we clearly didn't win anything. So Freddie Freeman with the Braves won MVP. You've got JD Martinez, Chris Sale, and Jacob deGrom are your Cy Young Award winners. Matt Duffy just missed out on the batting title, but Juan Soto apparently just had a killer season. Holy cow. That's insane. All right, so Mike Trout, you got Presley and Hayter with your reliever of the year awards. And then TJ Friedel and Jake Berger, two different names for the rookie of the year. Interesting for sure. All right, so let me, let me double check everything here. Let me make sure we're looking good for the bullpen. There's no reason why he should be there and um he pitched and he pitched oh hold on what's what's the situation here so caleb needs to go down oh actually a couple of my pitchers got kind of tossed around a little bit what, whoa, 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 what happened here so caleb needs to go down how much did zach little pitch only five innings but he was pretty good but he does also need to get sent down and then offensively 
Let's see, did anything change with some of the players that we have? No, it didn't. All right, cool, perfect. So now let's go take a look and see what we got here. So Sammy Long kind of struggled. Um, doesn't really look like he's this long reliever that I was hoping he was. I mean, he's definitely still pretty young, 26 years old. He could improve for sure. So he could be a guy that maybe next year, may, maybe, maybe he'll be a good long reliever. Uh, Brebbia was fairly solid. I'll take those numbers all year, anytime. Dominic Leone, uh, Leon, ooh, Leone, Dominic, because I, I know you guys have corrected me so many times if it's Leone or Leon, we're just going to go Dominic. Dominic, great, great season. We're on a first name basis now. I hope you know that. Harlan Garcia, nah, not great. Um, Jake Diekman was actually a pretty solid pickup. Like I said, it could go really well or really poorly. It went really well. It went really well. Tyler Rogers kind of struggled a little bit. And then Jake McGee was fairly solid. I might even maybe go like this. We'll go like that. All right. Rodon potential went up, but not the best of seasons. Not the best of seasons. Desclafani was solid. Logan Webb was a little bit worse than he was last year, but pitched a couple less innings. So maybe that had something to do with it. Alex Wood was solid. Ugh, Tyler Beatty. Um, I definitely, I definitely need to think, I, I definitely think we need to add another starter to kind of lock up that rotation a bit. And, um, overall, if I feel like the starters kind of let me down, kind of let me down there. When we take a look at the lineup. What do we have here? Wilmer Flores off the bench in 70 games was really good. You know, the power numbers may have dropped a little bit, but the on base percentage is really good. The average is really good. Solid bench bat, solid bench bat. Same thing with Tommy LaStella, only 10 at bats, but I mean, he got on base, so I'm not going to complain. Evan Longoria, only versus lefties, got the job done, so that's great to see. Kirk Casale off the bench, backup catcher, really, really good. And then Austin Slater didn't play at all, so there you go. Um, Steven Duggar, almost, almost the same as last year, so I will definitely take that. Struck out a little bit more. But overall, same home runs, basically the same doubles, about the same hits. So, yeah, really solid. Matt Duffy, like I said, he is just a very good hitter. He gets the job done. He is a franchise must get. And look what happens. He, he delivers almost a 390 on base percentage. Uh, Brandon Crawford had a fairly good season as well with 28 home runs. So, again, really good. Castellanos, obviously the main pickup for the team. And he delivered. We've got Brandon Belt, who did take a little bit of a step back, probably the last year with the guy. But again, not a terrible season. On base percentage, very high, so I'll take it. Lamont, mm, 28 home runs, though. I guess, I guess not too bad. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Obviously, I'd like to see the average the on base percentage go up, the OPS be a little bit higher. But 28 home runs, I'll take it. I think, I think he could have done better, but it's not the worst. Conforto looks to be a really good late addition to the squad. He's probably going to want a lot of money. Definitely more than the four mil that he got this year. So we'll have to wait and see how much we can get. Polanco's there. And uh, good average, good on base percentage, good OPS. And then Joey Bart, pretty disappointing. I know who we're missing. We're missing Yastrzemski. What happened to Yastrzemski? We sent him down. Let's add him back to the squad. Let's send down Slater. And now I think my lineups are a little bit... A little bit wonky, but let's get let's get uh let's get the team in here. So who is meant to be here and right? It's Yastrzemski. Where's Conforto? We'll flip those, which means I guess we just throw Duffy as the DH. I don't know, man. And then righties, this will be Conforto. All right, yeah, there we go. Okay, playoff time. Whatever happens, happens. Let's find out and see. We lose, we lose, and do I want Alex Wood there? I do, I do. And instead of Tyler Beatty, we are going to go with Carlos Rodon, and it comes down to this. Bah! We lose 4-3. to three. Corbin Burns just got the job done a little bit better than Carlos Rodon. All right, so head to the offseason. Let's do, let's do one more year. Carlos Rodon's full contract, the two seasons. Brewers end up beating the Blue Jays. For the World Series, let's go take a look at their lineup really quick just to kind of get an idea of what they're working with. Any new additions? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, looks like they're pretty standard squad. And then also, who else? The Blue Jays. The Blue Jays. Where are the Blue Jays? What have they done? Philip Evans? That's really about it. You know, you look at their pitching. 
looks like a pretty pitching looks a little different but like Kyle Wright I guess is new but all right we gotta we gotta step it up I think let's take a look here let's go back what do we two runs one run so maybe a little bit of offense maybe a little bit of pitching too I think that's what yeah let's let's do that let's go a little bit bigger this offseason let's see what we can get Alex Cobb leaves us Phoenix Sanders what a name and uh, Matt Shoemaker so heading here how much does Conforto want how oh, wow he had a really good improvement plus 13 plus 14 plus 8 how much does he want about 10 a year do I hold off and see what other options are available before I commit to 10 a year and see like if we can get something really good Alex Wood I think at the back of our rotation that five spot I think could be a really good addition so I'm gonna do another one-year deal I'm thinking like 10 mil I think that's a that's a pretty good deal for both of us Wilmer Flores off the bench I think is a solid pickup I don't know about 10 mil right now though Jake Diekman's gonna continue to regress so I'm gonna pass on him um, I, I think the same thing with Dom here but just ooh for 8 mil too uh Kurt Casale probably not gonna improve too much more Matt Duffy usually falls off after a season so I will not be paying him 11 mil and that's kind of the issue with some of these older players and MLB the show they just don't really hold their rating so realistically do I, maybe, do I go after maybe Brandon Belt as our backup first baseman and then let maybe Rowdy Telez take over at first or do I just like maybe keep Rowdy Telez as like a like a bench bat still in case Brandon Belt really doesn't do well? I feel like Brandon Belt's got to be on the team still. I, I, just, I just do. But 10, 9 mil, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's I, like it's not too much. And I'm not going to be an everyday type of guy. Let's let's hold off. The only offer that we have on the table is Alex Wood. I think he's going to be a good back part of the or back end part of the rotation guy. And now let's kind of see what we're working with here. Let me clean this up. Let me get the contracts, the arbitration, all that good stuff. And then we'll talk about the offseason. All right. So contracts have been offered. I think, I, I think I've kind of gone through and let go of who I wanted to let go. I wanted to get rid of Harlan Garcia, which means I'm going to need to start bringing in some extra, a little bit of extra depth. Darren Ruff probably needs to go. Did I offer him arbitration? I did not. Okay. So we need a lot um offensively especially you can see like what is this third first right field so third first and right field that's definitely an area where we need to you know kind of add a little bit and then bullpen for sure a bullpen for sure and also a starter bullpen for sure and also a starter i looked at seth Corey. i think he's gonna take the sammy long spot this year um they're they're pretty identical in terms of like attributes and overall so i think that's what's going to happen there um i just don't think he's ready i mean i could throw him into the fifth spot as well but i think if we're trying to win i think we throw him into the long relief spot and see how that goes for right now so with that in mind i'm thinking of a player that maybe could just give me a season nothing too crazy kind of stick with the whole one or two year deal for a pitcher who could that be matthew boyd uh sunny gray not Ooh, that's not looking good Jamison and Tyone would Jamison and Tyone be okay Clevenger Severino I mean there's just really nobody like a Kershaw wow that would be that would be wild um but yeah let's 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 figure this out let's go let's go let's go through the pitching first let's get let's get that done I think like a Chris Bassett I just don't know it if at 34 years old he's gonna hold that mid 80s rating and that's what kind of worries me Bundy is this the guy that I want 30 years old he's still got B potential maybe like a season but is that really an upgrade over what I was trying to do I'm looking for maybe a because like uh, this is kind of what we have right now I kind of need someone in the mid 80s and like I guess that means we're going for like what Musgrove but Musgrove doesn't improve much more Tyone's not going to improve much more Clevenger is not going to improve much more. Sevy is Sevy a guy that you want? Hmm. Does he is he going to want a lot? Twenty six mil. So I has got like a I got like loose hair everywhere. So I'm trying to like if you see me like messing with my collar or like here, it's just, I got I got like loose hair. So you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna retie it up because clearly just didn't do a good job tying it up. So I just don't know pitching wise who to. Who to really go for here? I don't think Thor is an op 
an option uh nola is probably not an option either i just feel like maybe sevy i just feel like i get sevy too much and then on top of that i just don't think any of the options below him are gonna hold their rating so i feel like we're just kind of in this this spot where like ugh, none of these guys are really that good so i think I, I think we just maybe we just go for sevy you know i think i think we do that we do like uh oh he's actually looking for like a two-year deal around 22 mil which is kind of what happened with carlos rodan so i i want to make sure that i get him so i'm going to go two years 25 mil i'm going to throw that on the table there relievers we definitely need relievers um who chad green chad green always lets me down he's on my do not acquire list i think ryan presley would be cool but i don't really want to pay him 97 million like he's wanting um so that puts us in a tough spot um so you know just relievers want so much money after one good season that's it's oh so i think i think we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to bite the bullet here and pay relievers a big chunk of change i, I think that's really what it is i i think i think that's just what we're gonna have to do so we'll do that plus i said we're only gonna do like another season or two so offering like three or four year deals really isn't the end of the world and i don't do we even have any relievers that i could call up I guess I could try Zach a little. I don't know if I really want to. Man, we just we need like a whole rotate a whole bullpen, and there's just there there's just not a lot of good options right here that I would trust to add to my bullpen. A lot of them are just older older pitchers that won't hold their rating. Catcher, I think we're good. We could use a backup since I did let go of Kirk Casale, so I might just end up bringing back Kirk Casale, or maybe someone like an Austin Barnes or an Austin Romine, something like that. I'm I'm probably gonna wait just for right now first base i do want to bring in someone muncie brandon belts there what about josh bell he was not good and that's kind of tough but he probably won't want much yeah so let's do that and then what i'll do is i'll also offer belt like like eight and a half see if he takes it if he doesn't take it that's fine too but i think these two like a little platoon maybe one's a dh one's not a dh one's like the starter i think that could be a nice little duo there i think rowdy telez could be okay but what we'll the we'll, we'll see we'll see what else becomes available polanco was fantastic i'm good with that third base j ram Ooh we i like that um and then i would like a outfielder because we do have castellanos but we don't really have much else because some of the other guys just kind of let us down so who would be that guy I mean, Judge is definitely a right fielder. Um, we've clearly made Castellanos a left fielder at this point. So do we just bring back Conforto or do we bring in someone like a Gallo or a Judge just to make things a little bit more fun? I'm also trying to like keep up with like what's going on with the rumors as I record this just because I have a feeling like some of these guys may end up getting traded or moved around and like I'd be like, oh, I just acquired them and now I got to make a video about them, you know? <laughs> so like Castellanos, watch Castellanos sign now and now I got to make a video about Castellanos when I just put him in this Giants video. But um, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I'm thinking like Conforto, I think I think is going to do really well again. But also, do we need lefties in the lineup? So we're bringing back Belt. We're bringing in Josh Bell. He's a switch hitter. I guess we could use a righty. And I think, I think just, just for fun, we're not really keeping this realistic or anything. Let's go. I do. Ooh, I said I wanted a third baseman too. Let's go. Let's go. J Ram. We'll give him the player option. And then what I'll do here is instead of Judge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring back Conforto just so that that. I know I said I needed a righty. But let's just bring back Conforto because we had him. And then that way it's not like it's just a complete overhaul of the team. I'm going to do a two-year 21 mil deal. I'll even give him the player option for the second year. And I think for now, those are the deals. A lot of big names. A lot of fun names. I think Presley, not not Presley, but like Conforto or J-Ram. I think are the, the fun names um, only because that's really about it. Uh, we do. We, I think those are some big signings. And like we're still well within budget we still got like 40 mil to play with so let's let's go through the offseason let's see what happens where is everybody going chad green goes to the nationals interesting move there uh j ram obviously joins us clevenger to the phillies nola to the rangers and musgrove to the dodgers joey gallo to the Rays. Ooh, okay 
and um, I think I think that's it. Real realistically, I just want to check the. I think at 35, he's gonna just start to dip in rating. Otherwise, I would have gone for him. Cole Solzer. Mm, nope. All right, I think I'm gonna continue. Ooh, we know how good Kevin McCarthy is. I'm picking up Kevin McCarthy. Super cheap, super good arm in the bullpen. Got to pick him up. And then we'll just continue to move forward as Dansby Swanson joins the Reds. That'd be an interesting move for the Reds. They definitely have been on the lookout for a shortstop. But I don't really know what the Reds... Two years, 17 mil for Brandon Belt to the Cubs. Okay. Kershaw to the Yankees is an interesting one. Ketel Marte to the Marlins. Is something I could definitely see happening. For sure. For sure. And it doesn't really look like bullpen arms are becoming available, sadly. So it looks like we're just gonna have to make some trades. Like that's just this just what's gonna have to happen, which I'm okay with. I feel like that's that's probably the easier thing to do as Syndergaard joins the Rangers, stays within the division. And now looking at our rule five pick, I guess I could pick up a, a reliever here. And then do I need a lefty? I don't think I do. One, no, do I have a lefty? I don't. Oh, I guess I could use a lefty. Hmm. All right, we'll take him. We'll take him. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the second pick because I got the guy that I wanted in a reliever. And we should be good. I think that's I think that's our offseason. I think we did a pretty good job. We've we got the guys that we wanted besides Brandon Bell. Um, I guess I could try to trade for him, but I feel like I feel like we gave him a fair offer. He didn't want it, and I feel like we we we've got an okay team. Plus we have Telez also. So one versus righties, one versus lefties. I think I think we're good there. I guess I could add a little bit more depth to the team. I think that's something that we're missing for sure. So I'm going to get that done off camera and I'll see you guys for season two. All right. So looking at the team, you can kind of tell like there we, we need something. I, I After like the, the season that Wade Jr. gave me, I kind of feel like I'm out on him. Like, yeah, his right righty power and contact is really good. But like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on it. We've got we've got a pretty solid team here. I might drop Brandon Crawford a little bit lower in the lineup. Maybe something a little bit like this, but like, I don't know. I just feel like offensively, I feel like we're, we're kind of okay. I do want to call up Elliot Ramos right now. Maybe make him the fourth choice outfielder over Yastrzemski. Maybe we'll, we'll see, but like, I, I want to get him into the team too. And then looking at the pitching, I think the rotation's good. I think the bullpen could use a little bit of a boost. So what I'm, what I am going to do is I'm going to go after a bullpen uh an arm an arm in the bullpen and the one that is always thrown around in rumors in the offseason and at the deadline is the brewers closer josh Hader. i'm gonna go for him how am i gonna make this deal possible they're gonna get him uh they are also going to get who else did i make this deal? how did i make this deal possible i don't remember now i think i went like him and a pitcher did i go tyler Beatty? i did that is the trade. Josh Hader is joining us to be our closer. I know we just signed Ryan Presley, but I just feel like that's that's a move you cannot pass up. Now Presley can be the setup. We'll probably send down Little for now. I actually kind of was unsure like what Tyler Rogers is going to do because he did fall off in rating. So like I'm kind of worried that he's going to just kind of fall off as well. Uh, is he, is he going to fall off? I think he is i think he is so let's 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 throw him just for something for something i don't know what maybe nestor i can't get nestor um ooh, what can i get what can i get anybody good that i could get i don't think there will be maybe a randy dopnik it sounds bad but like mm. you know what i might just i might just let him sit in the minors because I, I i honestly think he is going to to fall off which means i'm gonna do this i'm gonna call up kevin mccarthy because kevin mccarthy is just that that really glitchy guy actually i needed to send one of them down which that actually works out the best because now i can call up elliot ramos like i mentioned because <laughs> i totally forgot that's what i wanted to do we're gonna call him up we're gonna put him in versus lefties i think that's uh i gotta i gotta do the lineup anyways but this is gonna be the lineup versus righties I think this is the best lineup that we have. I actually think we've we've made this team really good. And then on top of that, when we go versus lefties, we're going to have at third base, obviously, J-Ram. First base, we're probably going to go to Les. 
where is first base ramos in one of these outfield positions second base is going to probably still be polanco and then what is this dh versus lefties hmm who hits lefties the best out of the i guess dubon i guess dubon can come in and help us out uh, i don't really like that i don't really like that at all i guess maybe we keep just josh bell there maybe something like this drop crawford a little bit castellanos is there and then maybe like some something like this something like this I'll, I'll probably move some more stuff around but i think i think this is where we're gonna be rocking as a team versus lefties i, I think this team's really good i really do i think we're gonna we're gonna cause some damage so let's get through the season i most likely won't make any trades because i really like this team i think this is good unless we need to make some trades then i'll make some trades i'll probably see you at the deadline so we finished the season 99 and 63 just one shy of that 100 win mark but you know what i'll take it we are the top of the nl everything went the way we needed to team looks great we're ranked 10th but look at that contact the power the pitching it's just the defense and the speed is what letting us down i was kind of checking in on the team from time to time and it kind of seems like some of the players that i was hoping were gonna do well let me down but i can't complain because we still had a really really good season so looking around the league you guys can kind of see the rest of the standings where everybody's sitting and now let's take a look at league leaders desclafani and then Steven Duggar. Steven Duggar. Okay. All right. Sure. Why not? Um, yeah. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I never would have thought. And that was actually the guy I was looking at potentially moving. You know, like this is the guy that I didn't really think was going to be part of the team. But all right. Steven Duggar out here just being the best player in the National League, apparently. Awards. We've got a Hank Aaron Award and a Silver Slugger. Obviously, he's not going to be MVP. But. 50 home runs wow okay okay trout just a casual 50 46 last season all right Degrom again with the Cy Young over Chris Sale Carlos Rodon was in the mix as well Rodon and any 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 other names out there the Pirates had all three rookie of the year consideration candidate thingies and then you can see Spencer Torkelson won it on the other side next up I think this might be a little little mixed up how did he do this year wasn't like yeah i feel like we gotta still keep alex wood on the the playoff roster and then i had seth Corey as the extra let me let me see what's going on here what do we have here so alex wood goes here caleb needs to go and so does dominic dominic needs to go so caleb and dominic those are the two, uh, like, just, just, bleh, you know, the guys that just let me down the most. How did Kevin McCarthy do? Just didn't pitch. Didn't pitch. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We sent them down. So who do we need to call back up? Like, who got? Tommy LaStella got sent down. That's, that's not a good sign. All right. So Dom needs to go down, like I said, and that, that should be it. Now, Seth Corey, first, like, full season as a long reliever. And like not ideal, but still fairly young, still gonna develop. Can't complain, right? Rebio was really good, really, really good. We've got James Pazos, we've got Zach Little. You know what? Tyler Rogers came up in what September it looks like, and he was solid. So maybe I should have kept him in the rotate uh, the bullpen the whole season. But you know what? Everybody did their job in the bullpen, it looks like. So I cannot complain. Rodon, you know what? Good bounce back year. Said, you know what, I'm gonna show you what I can do. And look, Cy Young candidate. Gotta love it. Logan Webb was really good. So it was Sevy. Desclafani was fantastic. And our odd ball out was Alex Wood. But as a five, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. So not too bad there. So, oh, this was Listella. Ah, Listella wasn't bad. Yastrzemski wasn't bad off the bench either. What? Actually, I can't take that back. He was kind of bad. Um, Rowdy Telez off the bench slash first lefties was very, very good. Love to see it. We've got Elliot Ramos, who definitely did struggle. And then so did Plowacki. And then Jalen Davis looks like he came up for Dubon. Yeah, I can see why. I can see why. All right. Uh, looking at our starters, 34 homers for Duggar with 43 doubles. This might be the new Brandon Nimmo. Good Lord. Holy cow. This is Brandon Nimmo, but better because he hits more home runs. Ooh, Steven Duggar. Uh, Listella, 
fairly fairly good like he's gonna get on base that's what i'm looking for him to do j ram uh, he's just not not good in franchise this year i don't know what it is just not just not good castellanos was still very good almost identical to last year actually like really really like really close uh conforto not as good definitely took a, a step back which is disappointing to see Josh Bell was pretty disappointing. <laughs> Brandon Crawford, though, was was good, and so was Polanco. Uh, just the, the power numbers seem to have gone down a little bit. A couple, uh, yeah, on base percentage did a little bit too, so did average. But for the most part, I feel like we were kind of a mixed bag on offense, which is which is a little disappointing to see. Um, so it comes down to this season. What is going to happen as we take on the Padres? What do the Padres have for a lineup? Okay, so the Padres, they have Grisham, Profar, Machado, Tatis, Trey Mancini is a good pickup, Kirilov, oh, pitchers, Lamette, Paddock, Williams, Darvich, you know what, I feel good, I feel good, which means we're gonna lose, game one, we lose, game two, we win, okay, Sevy gets the win, we end up winning, we're gonna be taking on the Brewers or the Braves, and it's gonna be the Brewers who ended up being World Series champions last time, so let's uh let's move everything around we should be good to go here and we are gonna move the rotation around <laughs> we're gonna move the rotation around that should get us through the series it is two to two one more win please they got john means they got john means come on that can't that's not fair that's not fair we do win anyways. We're going to the World Series to take on the Rays or the Mariners. And it's going to be the Mariners. All right. So let me adjust this for the World Series. Um, Let me let me do this really quick because I want to see if Rodon has full stamina for this game. He does. All right. Perfect. 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 Please do not back out. Um, So we're going to go him here. Let's see. Who's been going? Logan Webb. We're going to go Desclafani, Severino, wait, no, Webb, Desclafani, Severino, yeah, yeah, like that, boom, like that, just based off of how people are performing in the postseason, and then now, let's go take a look at the Mariners, they've got Cedric Mullins, wow, what a pickup, Kyle Lewis, Rodriguez, Julio Rodriguez, Kelnick, that's a, that's a solid team. Their pitchers, what are we looking at with uh, pitching-wise? They have Robbie Ray, Logan Gilbert. Okay. Brandon McKay, Yusei Kikuchi. This is, a, this is a good team. This is a good team. Win or lose, I'm proud of what we were able to do. How can we finish off the rebuild? It is with a dub. With a dub. There it is. The Giants World Series winners. Telez. The World Series MVP and Duggar, the playoff MVP. Telez, no home runs, no RBIs, but he hit 545 in the in the World Series. Duggar had five home runs in the postseason. Pitching wise, Wood was really good. You got Rodon, who was outstanding. Honestly, everybody was really, really good. L look at those outings. The bullpen, Seth Corey struggled a little bit, but only pitched two innings. And Bullpen looks a little sus, I'm not gonna lie. But overall, look at look at the offense. J Ram sucked. Um, so did Conforto. But I'll take that. I, I, I like what the team did. I'm happy that we were able to get that World Series title. Two seasons, we did the business, and that's where it is going to end. I hope you enjoyed today's rebuild. We're back with the rebuilds. I need that offseason to heat up a little bit more. Spring training is starting. Teams are gonna want to get those players in. Get them ready. Get them training. Players are wanna gonna want to get in. They're going to want to train. They're going to want to meet their new teammates. So let's see how this goes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.